So it's time for Storm Team Academy. So for any of you kids at home, you want to bring them to the TV, they can get their weather lesson right now. So we had this question from Teresa and Dave. I got two of them. How does lake effect rain and snow work? Well, yesterday we had some of that lake effect rain. That's when it's obviously warmer. But when it's colder, we get the lake effect snow. And this is how we get majority of our snow around here in central New York because you have warmer water and then that cold air usually from Canada, blowing over that warm water. What happens is that the air from the, the warmer air, it rises up, it cools, condenses, turns into clouds, and eventually those clouds grow bigger and bigger, and then you have rain or snow falling from them. Of course, wind direction makes a big difference. Now, when we talk about that northwest wind, that's when that lake effect snow gets to like Syracuse, Casanova, into the immediate central New York area. A shorter fetch, which means Notice the lake doesn't have as much to travel. So we tend to only get several inches of snowfall. But then when you have that west wind, it's got a long distance to travel and a lot of moisture to deal with. And that's why the Tug Hill is usually a bullseye for most of that snow. And you can get sometimes feet of snow. Now I'm going to post more of this on our website and on social media with further explanation. And I hope this helps answer any of your questions. Tomorrow we're going to talk about spring because it's the first day of spring. So you will definitely want to stay tuned for that.